Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Happy new comic book day, October 25th, 2023. I hope you guys found all your books in your cubby, on the new comic book shop wall, or mailed to you. However you guys get your comics, I hope you guys found all the comics you're looking for this week. I know I did. It's a pretty light week for me. Uh, wasn't too interested in picking up a bunch of the number ones, uh, the Transformers and everything that's kind of going out. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll read it in trades or online, uh, but still continuing with some of the series that I've, that I've been continuing with here in the Loud Mysterious Black Bag. Uh, before we get dived into that, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Help the YouTube algorithm spread me out so more people find me. Loud Mysterious Black Bag out of the way. Uh, so I only got two books this week. The first book we have up is Detective Comics 1075. Super cool cover. I actually really like this cover. That's uh, a, like a young Bruce Wayne with uh, with this Batman arm coming out. This was actually a pretty good issue. The artwork's a bit different, but it really it really kind of like fit the the style of what was going on in this story. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know like. Ram V's writing on this one was was pretty good. There there's a backup story too that's super interesting and and kind of uh really paints a picture of this Barbados character who's sort of been in the background of Ram V's entire run, seemingly kind of hauntingly uh uh talking to Batman in his mind and and we're starting now to finally find out um, where all that comes from and how long Batman's been involved with this. And I'm super interested. It's kind of a cool story. Uh, you know, uh, I guess really goes back to the beginning of Batman and, uh, and the creation of Batman and, and kind of places this character in in the realm of 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 those early days and I, i'm actually really interested to see how it's going to play out now this runs kind of slowly been building right and uh you know i'm curious too to see what arzen's gonna do uh, if you've read that um you'll get what i'm saying but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil anything for those of you guys that haven't read it yet uh, so in the number one spot, like I said, only two books this week. Uh, number one spot I gave to Amazing Spider-Man 36. Just a really fun issue with uh, with Rec Rap kind of showing back up. He's the the kind of like a a goblin guy from uh, Madeline Pryor's realm from from Limbo and. Uh, he he got like a piece of a ven venom symbiote and uh he seems to have bonded with it and and maybe added some other powers that someone else kind of helped him with um so it, he's an in interesting character he's kind of funny he's like the comedic uh relief issue if you will which is why i have it at number one i just had a lot of fun with it it was it was fun Good old Spider-Man, uh, you, you know, you can laugh, smile, and kind of like the, the story moves along and, and uh, we're, you know, kind of building up some, some new things that might potentially be happening in the background that looked pretty interesting. The artwork's super fantastic and so is this cover. Um, just a really awesome cover, honestly. And uh, interior artwork by, by Ed McGinnis is awesome. Um, so that, that's what I have today, guys. Uh, short episode. But uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, hope you guys have fun with your books. As always, comment below what you guys picked up this week. Uh, what your favorite reads were. Um, what's your favorite artwork. You know, whatever. Uh, as always, we'll see you guys next time. And have a great day.